Okay, I'm gonna run just like a full gambit of stuff from unimportant to pretty significant. Uh, so, I bought a hat. I had a birthday. I'm now 38. I'm approaching the age of I should have a hat. Not like a cap, but a hat. Like a man hat. It's pretty nice, I have to say. I'm not used to it. I don't like it. It's something foreign. But I figure I've got probably 10 years until I'm going to start losing my hair and then I'm going to have to wear a hat. So I might as well start getting used to it. So that is completely unimportant. My birthday, also not really important, but what was interesting was it was really my most normal day in as long as I can remember from the time that I came onto this fucking planet. Um, and I think it was so normal because I was so aware of needing to be aware about what's going on in the background while I approached my birthday and noticing all the stuff that came up. Uh, there was a lot. Um, really solidified the realization that my birthday has always been used as an excuse to consume an excuse to uh, get wasted, an excuse to let everything go and really did myself and people around me a disservice. So uh, obviously it was a very sober birthday. I've got to say I loved it. A total normal day. I, when do you get to have a normal day? That's what a birthday should be, just normal day. Went to work, normal, normal, everything normal, sweet. Um, a lot's been going on at work. I will make a video about that, um, but I'm gonna wait for it to settle so we can get a full picture on that scenario. Uh, there was the Australian elections, there was the European elections. Uh, now that's all settled into place and we kind of have a little bit of a picture of what's coming. So, you know, readjusting your views of how and where and what and what should I really focus on here after being bombarded with politics for months. I mean, America's kicking off already, even though their elections are whatever, but, you know. Um, and then there was uh, this 17-year-old uh, Dutch girl, um, first reported as assisted suicide, and then later... Um, uh, confirmed that it was not assisted suicide, but she did chose to end her life through uh, basically starvation and uh, yeah, she had her own uh, Nora, 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 the Dutch name. I'm never even if I had it written in front of me, I will pronounce it wrong. So this name. Uh, you can do your own research on her. She had her own uh, public uh, posting thing, documenting her thing, and trying to give help to other people. Um, and obviously could not help herself and chose to die because of her level of suffering, which I can completely understand. 
And I don't blame, have any blame. I don't have any, oh, she should have done this or, or, or oh, this is, this is bad or this is good. This, it is what it is. Um, the, 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 the people in her life saw this eventuating and a lot of them, there's a lot of mixed emotions there, you know, there's, like I said, I'm not going to go into that. Um, but what I do gather from looking at that from an outside view is that the suffering being experienced was still not accepted as her suffering. And please don't misunderstand, it is not, it is not her fault that she was molested at age 11 by any means and it's not her fault that she was again raped by two men at age 14 and the damage that these kind of acts have on someone are re relentless re unrelenting that they just continue to do damage because when suffering is forced onto someone else by someone else, it is very hard to accept that as now your suffering. You did not choose it. You do not deserve it. You do not want it. It should never be yours. But now you have it. And the problem is you can't give it back. You can't give it to someone else. And that is what a lot of these people problem is. They are abused and then they try to get rid of their abuse by abusing someone else. Try to get their power back. But once it has been done, once that suffering is in you and that suffering is in your life, that is now your suffering, no one else's. And no one can help you but you to process that or to live with that or make it your own, make it a part of you because it is now a part of you and it's not fair. By any means is it not fair. There is no way of justifying it. There is no justice. We like to think that in this world we can have justice and we make up this whole court system and we make up these whole legal systems and we make up moral justice and mob justice and, 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 uh, fuck, you know, you, you. but there is never ever justice ever. The best we can aim for is balance. And when you get suffering force onto you, you're out of balance. And that's your responsibility. It's not fair, it's not just, it's not right, but that's life. It's not fair, it's not just, and it's not right. It is just life.
And as fucked up as it seems, we're a, a lot further along than we were before. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Complex. Not easy to talk about. If there's big bits of edits there, it's, uh, well, yeah, I closed my eyes, so I don't actually have a time reference. Um, so, yeah, if there's big edits, that's just me with my eyes closed, probably standing there going. <sighs> that brought me down a bit. <sighs> Gotta do the shopping.